Hello, welcome. Uh, we have a question. It says, calculate the total surface area of the frustrum below. We use pi as 3.142. This frustrum was cut from a cone. We can try and complete it and see how it looked like. So therefore, uh, this is how the cone looked like before this upper part was cut to form this frustum. We always say that uh, we can use this formula when we want to get the surface area or the total surface area of a circular frustum. We say surface area is equals to pi r l minus pi r l plus pi r squared plus pi r squared. Let me explain this formula. This pi r l, this is capital R, capital L. This is small r, small l. This pi r l is the curved surface area of this bigger cone. This curved surface area of the bigger cone. And this one here is this curved surface area of the smaller cone. Plus, this is the area of the bigger circle. This one here, this is the bigger circle. And this one here is this area of this small circle, this circular top, which is the smaller circle here. This formula can be simplified. If you check in this formula, pi is common. We can factor out pi and say uh, surface area is pi into r l minus r small l plus r squared plus r squared. That is how that formula can be simplified. Now we just need to know what is this l and what is this uh, small l. First we start by finding this perpendicular height. From here to here we can say let it be x. Using uh, similarity and enlargement we say if you take this radius of a smaller cone which is r we divide by uh, let's say it is 8 we divide by this radius of a bigger cone which is 12 of should give us uh, the height of the smaller cone, this perpendicular height, which is x, we divide by the height of the bigger cone, or the larger cone, which is x plus 24. x plus 24. If you cross multiply, you're going to get this is 12 of x is equals to 8 multiplied by x plus 24. When you open the bracket, you'll have 12 of x is equals to 8x plus 8 times 24 gives you 192. When you collect the like terms, 12 of, we bring this 8 to this side, 12 of minus 8 gives you 4x is equals to 192. Divide both sides by 4 by 4. Our x will be equals to 48 centimeter. Meaning from here to here, it's 48. Now, Getting this one will help us to get what is L and what is small L. We can extract this uh, bigger triangle. This, where this is capital L, from here to here is 12 of, and the whole of this height, that is 48 plus 24, we get it is 72. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can say uh, L is equals to the square root of 72 squared plus 12 of squared. You get, uh, if you take 72 squared plus 12 of squared, you get it is a square root of 53.28. You get capital L to be 72.993. Doing the same, we can extract the small, the smaller triangle, this one here, you extract it from here to here is 8. 
then this x here is 48 and therefore it can help us to get this small l which is the slant height of the smaller cone again using pythagoras theorem we're going to say l will be equals to the square root of 48 squared plus 8 squared when you do this one you get the square root of 2368 when you get the square root of 2368 using your calculator, you get as uh, 48.662. We now have everything that we need. We can now just punch those values in our formula and get our surface area. Therefore, we'll say total surface area will be this is the formula here it is pi first of all let us leave pi we'll deal with it at the uh, end into r which is this r which is 12 of times this one here capital l which you found as 72.993 minus this small r which is 8 times small l which are found as a 848.662 plus 12 of squared that is capital r squared plus 8 squared we close our bracket when you simplify this one you have pi into 12 of times 72.993 you get as uh, 875.916 minus if you multiply these two values you get 389.296 uh, plus 12 of squared is 144 plus 8 squared which is 64 when you minus these two values, you're going to get pi uh, into, uh, this will give you 486.62 plus, when you add these two, you get it is 208. If you add these two, you get pi uh, times 694.62. 6.2 uh, surface area will be 3.142 times 694.62 if you multiply those two you get 2182.496 centimeters squared and that is how you do or calculate the total surface area of a frustum which is circular. Thank you for watching. Let us meet in our next lesson.